If you're looking to open a coffee shop and you're trying to do some market research to figure out where's the best place to locate your coffee shop, what kind of customer traffic are your competitors getting so you can understand how much traffic I might be able to get to my shop. And then once you have that, you can kind of layer in, here's what the average order value will be. You can start to estimate potential revenue and ultimately profit. A lot of that really starts with understanding the market research, right? And so what we have done is put together a market research report. And I'm gonna go through this report here today, show you a whole bunch of free tools that you can use to do a lot of this market research on your own. There's a couple of tools in this example report that are premium tools. Some have a free trial, I think, and you'll be able to maybe get what you need during the free trial phase. But the point of the video is really to show you that kind of research can be really helpful as you're doing planning for your coffee shop. Before I dive into the report, just a little bit of background. My name is Adam Hooksema. I'm the co-founder of Projection Hub, and we really focus on helping clients create financial projections for potential investors and lenders. And one of the most common assumptions that clients ask us about in our financial model templates is how many customers do you expect on a monthly basis, for example? And so we have been looking for a partner to try to help us provide some data here that can help you estimate customer traffic. And, and so I'm happy to show you how that works in this video, along with a number of free tools as well. Okay, so we've got Sunrise Coffee here that we're going to open up in the Indianapolis area. And the first thing we want to do is use the free Google Keyword Planner tool that will help us estimate the search traffic for relevant keywords. And so we're going to look up Indianapolis coffee shops or coffee shops in Indianapolis. We'll see that Google Keyword Planner says they're getting 2,400 monthly searches for those and related keywords. The other thing we'll get to see here is how much people are paying to advertise for those keywords. So the low range of a cost per click is $2.28 and the high range is $5.10. So that gives you some idea of what your competitors are probably paying per click to their website for those competitive keywords. Google Keyword Planner tool also gives you a list of all the other relevant keywords that are kind of related. You get an idea of what the monthly search volume is, the trends, search volume increasing or decreasing, as well as the year over year change and how competitive that keyword is. So this will help you understand if you want to target a particular keyword, coffee shops, downtown Indy, there's 50 monthly searches and it's low competition. So the next thing that we'll look at is seasonality. We also use Google trends, which is another free tool. And what you can do is search for things like coffee shop near me. So in the United States, people searching for that, and we see the trends in terms of the high points and low points. So this can be just helpful in your planning as you think about staffing, cash flow. when do you need to save up for slow months or get ready to ramp up for staffing for the busier times. So what we see is January is consistently the low point with the summer and fall tending to be the high point according to this Google trend. Let's say we want to understand how much traffic your target location might get. So we have picked out a building, but it's been empty for the last year, for example. And so looking up foot traffic to an empty building, not that helpful, right? <laughs> it's not really going to help us all that much. So what we can do instead, we can pick out a building next to it get an estimate of foot traffic to that location, which will help us at least get some idea of the kind of traffic in the area where you're planning to locate. So in this example here, let's say we're planning to locate where this red dot is. This is the building we're going to lease, but here's a strip mall and it has been full. And so we're able to get foot traffic data from the strip mall. And we can see that they estimated 11,000 visitors last month. You also get the estimated foot traffic over the last 12 months and the change over time as well. So it can be helpful to kind of see what kind of traffic is at the location next door, and that could be useful. But I think what's even more powerful about this kind of data is you can look at your competitors. And so if we'll put in your competitor's address and do the same type of research, we're going to look at the Well Coffee House, which is a key competitor. They're estimated to have roughly 4,100 customers per month, and they rent 1,540 square feet. So this is also helpful to understand as you're looking at places to rent, how much space might you need if you're trying to have a similar size, feel as a competitor, you can get estimates on how much space they're renting as well as how much traffic they're getting. We also use a tool called Ahrefs. That's A-H-R-E-F-S.com. I, I believe they have a free trial for this tool as well. And so what you'll be able to do is search a competitor's website and it will allow you to see what keywords they're ranking for and how much traffic they're getting for that. So we looked up the Wells Coffee House website and we can see the different search volume, the number of clicks that they're getting for each of those search phrases. Now, one other thing that I think is, is useful with the ad van data that we use is you can get a customer heat map. 
So for our competitor, the Well Coffee House, we'll put in their location and we'll say, tell us where their customers live, where are they coming from? And so you can kind of see on this heat map where most of their customers live kind of within this circle. So for example, you wanted to locate down on the south side here. You might realize that, yep, you know, people that live down here, they're not willing to make the trip all the way up here. And so this might be a good location to take some of that customer base that wants to be close to your coffee shop. So some useful competitor intel there as well. And then the last thing, this is really free data as well from census.gov. You can get free demographic data that can be useful to throw into your business plan and just kind of thinking through who's our target customer and what's the demographic data surrounding the area we're planning to locate. Does the demographic data make sense for the type of establishment we're trying to have? And so here's the historical data on the target location with all the monthly foot traffic data that we have on record, as well as all of the keywords related to Indianapolis coffee shops that we have available as well. So that's that's the market research report. Again, a lot of these tools are free. And so we're gonna put links to the tools down in the description of the video below so that you can go utilize those tools yourself if you're trying to do this yourself. If you're saying, boy, this would be helpful, but I don't have time to mess around with this. That's why we have this market research report service. And so we'd be happy to do this research for you using the tools that we have. And so this is kind of an example of what you could expect. So I'll put a link to that market research report service where you can order this service to be done for your location. And we'll also put a link to a form where you can fill the form out and get access to a coupon code or discount code that you can use at checkout. As a thank you for watching to the end of the video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section of the video below or reach out to us directly at support at projectionhub.com. Thanks.